Well, hello, my YouTube friends. Welcome back to Tim's Motorcycle Adventures. Today, we got a special thing going on. I haven't posted it in a while, but we got a break in the weather, and uh, and now we get to take this for a ride. Yeah, that's right. It's done. This is my 1981 Yamaha XJ550 Scrambler. Finally got a chance to take it out and test it and uh, take you for a ride on it. And uh, yeah, lots of work done to this. If you remember the pictures, here they are. Of course we did uh, all kinds of things to this bike. Um, a new rear wheel, 18 inch from, uh, from Germany and uh, painted the wheels, matched the engine casings and the tank, painted the tank uh, and the engine. I have the pod filters on. That was a little bit of a trick to, uh, to balance the carbs, but I think we got it. Um, new front fender added on. Uh, of course, new headlight. Uh, seat is a custom seat. Uh, rear fender and tail lights as well. I wrapped the exhaust. And, uh, and of course n put new uh, new exhaust pipes on this new uh, scrambler bar and uh, uh, gauges as well I built this uh, this custom gauge um, bezel here just for the lights and uh, yeah uh, of course rebuilt all the brakes and everything like that too and um, yeah let's uh, let's take it for a ride This engine fires up really fast. Idles pretty nice. Let's see how it rides. Here we go. Well, lots of traffic today, but here we go. That's the fun part of this bike, right there. This is the little little Scrambler 550. And uh, you know, the fun part of riding a small bike like this, I mean, back in the day, I guess 550 wasn't that small, but um, you know, the, the fun part about riding a small bike is that uh, you can really give it some gas and you know, wind the engine up and hear the great sound of it. And, uh, and, and you don't speed that much. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of fun. If I were to get the RPM as high on my Tiger, well, I'd probably be breaking the law and that wouldn't be very good. You know, you crank it in, in first gear even in the playground zone, you're still not speeding. Watch the rocks. Oh yeah, that's the fun right there. All right, so you're thinking, what's it like to ride a 550 Scrambler? Well, I guess a four-cylinder 550 isn't your typical kind of scrambler build. It'd be more of a cafe racer kind of idea. But you know, it works pretty good. You know, the this uh, this XJ 550 engine is uh, is really quite narrow. And uh, because it's narrow, it makes a nice, nice slim engine. 
slim design it's uh you know that the tank is almost as wide as the engine is and uh and it's really light easy to ride and uh this four cylinder engine just revs so freely that uh you know i had a I, I had a CB750 and that was a lot of fun, way more power than this bike for sure. But, um, you know, hello doggy. You know, it wasn't as fun to ride actually. Uh, it's just fun just to hammer on this thing all the time and, and uh, you know, you're, it sounds great and it feels like you're going but you look down and you know you're not breaking any huge laws and um, it's just a lot of fun fun to ride it's it's really light and, and fairly nimble I lifted the back end up about two inches and so it's uh, it, the steering's a little quicker than it used to be but it's still a 19 inch front and uh, it's not like you know crazy fast it's it's stable on the highway and it's just a lot of fun the brakes are 1981 brakes well I mean I rebuilt them and and they work but they're not like two pot Brembo's or anything and I guess that's the feel of the whole bike right it's just it is an old bike. It's not going to handle like a, a new bike. But it's just fun to ride and, and it's fun to look at. And I have the, uh, the, what are they, the K60 Scouts on, uh, for tires on here. And so, you know, they're not, they're off-road tires. So they're, they don't ha the tires don't handle, you know, they're not sport bike tires. They are more for looks, but you're not gonna be throwing this thing into, into corners in a real crazy way anyway. It's not a sport bike, it's a scrambler. And just listen to that engine, it's so much fun. These tracker bars make the, the ride fairly comfortable, it's fairly upright, it's not a cafe racer, you're not leaned way over in an uncomfortable position, it's just, it's a really, uh, quite a comfortable seating position. The feet are, you know, in a more standard kind of spot. Um, it's really quite nice. Big hill. <laughs> and it is a six speed and so uh, you know the RPMs are pretty pretty high on the highway but it does it no problem 
this is not a touring bike. You know, you wouldn't want to go a, a big distance on it. But uh, but it, it'll do it. It'll it'll do short highway jumps and uh, you know, of course, lots of wind blast. It's a naked bike, but uh, but it'll do it just fine. I was looking it up. Uh, this has about uh, what, a little bit more power than like a new KTM 390 Duke. It's. Uh, just a little bit more when it was new anyway. I don't know what it's got now, but that's kind of what comparable power what it is. fun little engine. Well, I don't know what else to say about this little bike. It was uh, a really fun project. I really enjoyed working on it. Um, overall, I think that it went really well and uh, it runs pretty good. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know what else there is to say about it. Just uh, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. You normally don't see XJ550s being turned into a scrambler and I don't there's a couple online that I've seen that sort of look like a scrambler I guess so, you know they put knobby tires on it or something but um, I wanted something unique and different and uh, you know from the cream and bronze paint job uh, just to uh, the the height of the suspension the way it looks um, wanted something that kind of stood out and was different. So I think I accomplished that. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching.